everyone welcome back to my channel happy new year we're in 2024 like i feel like the last month last year just flew by i was super unwell um if you haven't seen my vlogs i was so unwell over christmas and i recently just got well and then i had another cold and yeah it's not been fun <laughs> so um i've had a few requests to do a video on all the new makeup that I got. I am planning on doing more of these but I thought today we could do a little get ready with me. I'm taking my mum out to lunch for her birthday. It has been snowing here which is not fun. I hate snow. I don't know about anybody else. I'm not a snow person. Like if I'm stuck indoors fine but if it's that small enough that it's slippy, icy and I have to still go out and go to work or whatever not a fan <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna do some skincare i'm just gonna use my elemis spray i'm getting the lavender one i've decided i'm gonna get the lavender one because i really like this one as well <sighs> i was looking pasty so i have popped some of this on last night so i do have a little bit of color which is nice i also tinted my lashes and my brows um so i'm feeling a bit more human um, so I'm just going to do quickly my skincare. You've seen my skincare routine about a hundred times so I'm just going to whiz through this because I don't want this video to be super duper long. Um, nothing, Nothing's changed really. Um, I'm going to use this. I don't know if I've showed this in a video yet. I think I probably have. So it's from Aldi. Um, I think this is Dupin the La Roposi um, Serum never tried that but this is really nice it smells like a spa it is so nice i use it every morning before my moisturizer it's sort of like a dry oil sort of texture it is like oily but it dries down almost matte it's dry down pretty matte it smells literally like you've walked into a spa it's so nice i think that was like five pound from aldi um and then my trusty I'm still using these, I'm getting through them, but I'm still loving it. I've been quite simple with my skincare recently. Normally I would have like, I don't really have hyaluronic acid anymore, so I haven't used that in a while. I do need to pick another one up. I might just go back to the ordinary one. That's quite a nice one. So I'll pop this on. Yeah. So to let that sink in, I'm going to do my brows first. Um, you've seen my brows about 100 times, so I'm going to jump off camera quickly, get them done. It's the same products as my next brow pencil, the glue and the NARS. The only thing is with me tinting my brows, I don't need to go in as heavy because they're obviously still quite dark. Sometimes with me tinting my brows, I literally just put some um, gel in. And then go on with this and it looks great. I might actually do that today because I feel like, because I just did them last night, they're quite dark. So I think I might just pencil in the front a bit. That's what we're going to do. So brows done. I'm going to just use my Too Faced Born This Way. I didn't get any new um, eyeshadows or anything, so it's just the same. Um, I'm just going to do like a really light wash of colour on the eyes and a little bit of a wing, I think. I'm not going too crazy. Um, it is literally, we're going where we went for my birthday, basically. It's like an Indian restaurant um, buffet sort of thing. So that's where we're going. So I'm going to just pop high tie, which is this one. I've actually been doing this look quite a bit when I've been wearing makeup. Not that I've been wearing makeup a lot, but it's been my favourite kind of easy, something on the lid, but it's not drastic sort of thing. So this is just a creamy colour. And I'm going to just wash that all over the lid. It's not a tutorial, by the way. I'm going to just go in with Nude Beach, which is this second darkest shade. Pop that in the crease. All the way along into the inner corner. I go in maybe like two or three times with this colour and it really builds up and you really don't need to put any other colour in if you didn't want to. Because I feel like it gives quite a nice dimension for an easy kind of throw on eye. I really don't know how makeup artists do this 
all day. This hurts my arm so much. I do have carpal tunnel due to pregnancy and stuff and it's just never went away. So like when I'm ten like putting tension on my hand, I get a shooting pain all the way up my hand. <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm just getting too old. Just feel like my body's hit 30 and went, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Like my knees hurt, like my arm hurt, but that is genuinely because of a medical reason. It's not old age. I'm old age, I'm 30. <laughs> Here's me saying it's old age, not old age. Apparently life doesn't begin until you're 40, so I'm quite excited to turn 40. I know that sounds absolutely strange and ridiculous. I just feel at the minute, I'm at that stage where I'm kind of just don't know where I'm really going if that makes sense um just kind of like taking each day as it comes not planning anything sort of thing I don't know so, I'm gonna leave that there right now because obviously I'm gonna come back to the wing I don't want to do that until I've done like the base of my makeup because that's just silly so I do have new bits to try some of the things I have used but obviously you guys wanted to see the new stuff in action okay so for primer i have used this once it's really nice so it is from the beauty crop i got a gift set from beauty bay any products i can link i will leave link down below i haven't tried the other two yet i have to be honest with you i haven't worn makeup in ages i just haven't um so this is the gold perfecting primer and it has little specks of gold in it i've used it once i think i used it on christmas day and I quite liked it. It says a skin perfecting primer that helps provide a flawless base for makeup application. That's all it says. So it doesn't kind of like state if it um, hides pores or if it uh, is mattifying, but it's very silicone -y, silky feeling. So it does sort of give the impression that it's going to like smooth out your face or your skin to help the foundation to kind of look more flawless. It doesn't say that it's long lasting, but I'm only going out for a couple of hours, so I'm not that fuss. It feels like velvet, not gonna lie. It feels amazing. Doesn't really have a smell either, but it's really nice. This, this is a not new product. It's my trusty True Match. And N3. It may be a little bit too dark for me. I really need to wash my brushes. That is what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think. I really need to do it because um they are really bad. Can't remember the last time I washed my brushes. That is absolutely disgusting. So that needs done pronto. I might do them tonight actually, so they are nice and dry for tomorrow. Not that I'm going anywhere, so I probably won't put makeup on, so it doesn't really matter when I do it. As you can see, I have got a little bit of on, but this is still... I really need to get foundations in my light shades because all my foundations, apart from this, is too dark for me without, like, fake tan. And I just haven't been bothered to fake tan. I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> it's too cold. That looks all right as long as I don't put my, my hand up to my face. <laughs> Gonna lighten that up a little bit with my L'Oreal, L'Oreal, not L'Oreal, Lacura, which is from Aldi, Cashmere Glow Concealer. I mean, I could use that everywhere else, but I really don't want a really highlighted concealer look. Let's pop that under the eye. I love the look of this concealer. It's really good coverage, but it gives this nice sheen to the skin as well. It looks really hydrating and stuff. It's really nice. And it was only like £5, I think, possibly. I've never tried the dupe because it's far too expensive. I don't have the money to be spending on that. So maybe one day. Maybe one day. So now I normally go in with my Revolution concealer, but we got this. I'm going to try it. So it is the Pink Honey BBF Bronzing Face Frosting. I got the shade Buttercream. I don't know if it's going to be too dark. 
that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. It's It could be a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to take a teeny weeny bit. I don't want to look orange. This is a bronzer, not a contour. Ten, I don't really contour even with my other one. So it doesn't really matter that it's a bronzer. I don't know if that looks a bit orange for me. I mean, formula wise, it seems really nice. I think that looks okay. I think obviously I looked ridiculous on my hand because I've used my hand to take off any of the excess product. Did we just go in? <laughs> don't know. Let's just go and see how what happens. I don't think that's not too bad actually. Okay. Oh crap. Then this is where I muck it up, right? Actually that's quite a nice colour actually. Uh, I'm just going too far now, aren't I? Right, I need to fix this out of it. I think I like that. I don't know if it's easier to use than my other one but it's a nice colour it's not too dark I feel like sometimes my other one can get a bit dark on me especially when I don't have fake tan on so that don't forget the ears that is quite a nice little bronzer what do we think it's quite nice right I quite like that if I can close it right. I couldn't believe when I seen these on Beauty Bay and they were cheaper on Beauty Bay than the TikTok shop. So that's the thing, that's the base done. I'm just gonna add some powder. Um, I don't have a new powder. Anybody got any recommendations for a good, preferably loose powder? I think I prefer a loose powder over a pressed, but if you've got any good pressed powders, let me know, hit me up because this is going to last me forever. I do really like this. This is the Aldi one and it is a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder, which I have used. Very similar, not going to lie. Um, I love the Laura Mercier one. Yeah, it is Laura Mercier, isn't it? Laura Mercier translucent powder. Yeah, it is. That just sounded so strange for me there for some strange reason. I don't know why. So I'm just going to powder basically wherever I've not bronzed because I'm going to use the bronzer to powder that off. Love this powder. It's so nice. Not too heavy. Doesn't leave a cast. It looks nice. So bronzer. You guys know I'm going to use this. I have used this. I used it on Christmas Day. So this is the Made by Mitchell bronzing book. I think I used, you'll be able to see which ones I used. Oh, I know that just I think I used cream, caramel cup and ginger biscuit. Um, but we'll see which ones I want to use. So I think we're going to go in. Are we going with? I think I'll just stick with caramel cup. Let's just. And I freaking. I've only used it once. I freaking love this. It is so nice. And it still leaves a sheen, which is really nice. I 
I do like going back over the edge. Just to blend that in. I absolutely love this. This is so nice. And you've got so many colours. You can use as eyeshadows, as contour. If you've got different stages of your tan. If you use a really dark tan. If you really use a really light tan. You've got something in there that's going to work for you. Now, the blush book. I used Milkshake before. I don't know why, but I, you can't see it on camera, but there's lots of marks on the actual packaging. I don't know if that just means that the blushes and bronzers are so incredibly milled down, like so finely milled, that it's just... So I think, what do I want to do today? I think I'm going to do Peach, Peachy Friday, which is this one here. Something about normal, not normal, but it's not a crazy colour. I really want to do a look with this one. And like, there's just so many. You could use these as eyeshadows as well. I used to use um, blushers as eyeshadows if I wanted a specific like pink or red. Because sometimes it's quite hard to find that in an eyeshadow. But obviously in a blush, you'll always get a red. The lilacs look insane. But I'm just kind of warming myself up to that. Because uh, you guys know I like my peachy pink. So. I also got this. So for Christmas, I got an after calendar which is like an advent calendar but for after christmas and it was from sephora it was their whole entire like collection well not the whole entire collection but it was all sephora products and then this one and one of them had a blush and it is called shame on you and it is just their colorful blush why not use that as well because i haven't used this yet it looks like it's matte i think quite nice it's a little bit more kind of lighter a little bit more peachier a little bit more coral i like that i am just gonna run my powder brush with nothing on it over it because <laughs> i feel like it's a bit much that's a bit better then i got the sprays to go with the um primer so this all came in a kit and i think it was like something like 12 pound maybe or maybe 20 pound ridiculous so i've used this one before and i've been using this one and i really like them i've still to use the pore one but this is the glow milk mist and it's really nice <laughs> so and the mist beautiful i love a good mist this one smells like rose which I'm not a huge fan of the rose smell, but it's nice. It's got hyaluronic acid. It's got that niacinamide <laughs> and it's made with rose water. So it's really good for your skin. It's not just a really nice primer setting powder. It's not a really, it's not just a really good setting um, spray. It's not a really, it's not just a really good setting spray. It's actually got really good ingredients in this. Um, but yeah, this one has green tea in it so again they're really good for your skin and i don't know what this is got in it cherry extract which i'm not sure what it does for your skin i don't want to do a liquid liner but i did get this in the after calendar as well so i want to use this it's the sephora 12 hour color crayon in tiramisu which is like a dark brown i think this will be cute it's a little smudgy wing so Let's see how creamy. Oh, these are really creamy. Look how easy that was. That is stun. Maybe just a little half wing, I think. That is so nice. The only thing is, I 
Well, it says 12 hour wear, so it should dry down and not budge. So we'll see. I always do one liner perfectly and the other one just, just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> just doesn't want to do it. I love that liner. That line. This one's just, look. Look completely different. It ends up being really thick. So I think what I'm going to do, I am going to smudge it. I wasn't going to, but we need to smudge it because it's annoying me. Um, this one. So I'm just going to go in with black sand. It is a brown. It's just very, very dark. Oh, there's a bit of maroon. That's actually, why am I using that? It's a very thick line now, but they are. <laughs> the wings are getting bigger. <laughs> so what started out as a half wing is now a full wing, basically. And then I think I'm going to just try easy peasy fix. And my NARS one. It is drying out a bit, which is actually making me like it a bit more. Um, it's a bit more kind of like thicker. Normally I would do like a smoky eye and stuff like that. I can't be bothered to do it actually. I quite like just the top bit done. And for lips, I kind of feel like going for like a really, not natural, but not matte. So I got this. So this isn't new. The shade is. I love, love these pencils for the lips. They're so creamy, but they last a long time. And I got this shade from, I think I got from Tesco's actually, because they do stock some makeup. And this is 90s Nude. I can't wait to try this. So this is the last thing finish lip liner. And uh, these for a pencil and not a retractable crayon is so creamy. Like these are ridiculous for three pounds, I think they are. And that colour is gorgeous. I love that colour. And then in the middle, this is not new, I've had it for years, um, is a glaze from MAC and it is hue, which is like a peach colour. And there we go. I'm very happy with that makeup actually. Just don't look at my hands compared to my face and it's fine. I also curled my hair again with my Heatless color, Curlers from Aldi. This time I've, it's went really tight compared to last time. I don't know what I did differently, but I kind of like it. It's kind of like a messy curl. I kind of like it. But yeah, that is my get ready with me. So now I'm going to go. I need to take stuff to the skip. I need to pick up my mum. Then we're going for food. And then we're going to Aldi because I need to do a food shop as well. Um, I've been doing really well with my cash stuff in budgeting. I still have pretty much all of my expendable, is that the word? Money that I would normally have spent by now that isn't like money for like my debt, my, my debt, direct debits or anything like that. I have tons of cash saved up for different things. I've got stuff for Easter, I've got stuff for Halloween, I've started my Christmas budget birthday budget, um, stuff from my car. Like normally I would literally wait until it's about time to spend the money and I have no money left in my wage. So this hopefully, so hopefully I stick to this. <laughs> but for now I'm actually buzzing that the fact that I can look in my bank. I've still got money that I can actually spend and not feel so guilty about because I do have money from my wage this month. And this normally because i get paid a week earlier 
in December, it's always been like that with Aldi. And then we have a five week mo um, month in January. Normally I am struggling this last week, but I have st still so much money. I've still got my budget for the next two weeks for my shopping, for my food shop. I've been under my eight pounds a week. I know some people that might f that may seem a lot, but that is including everything. I include all my cleaning bits, all of my laundry bits in that. I don't have a separate fund for that. Um, so some weeks it's been 60 pounds, some weeks it's been like bang on 80 or like just under, which I'm so happy about because beforehand I would literally just be spending my money willy nilly and it would come maybe up to like 90 pounds for a weekly shop, which is insane. And then half the time, I don't even use it, it goes in the freezer and then that sits there for a good three, four months until that week comes when I'm really struggling for money and then I pull that out. So now I'm really consciously like knowing how much I need to spend and what I need to buy. So even just doing that, instead of just going out aimless, aimless I can't say that word, aimlessly um, spending my money. I'm getting to the stage where I'm kind of a little bit more aware and I'm only a month in. It's insane. I follow a ton of TikTokers, um, but I, I have stated in the past that I don't really like TikTok, so I am actually thinking of coming off it. I'm actually thinking of deleting it. I don't know why, I just, I can't bother with it anymore. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, I'm just rambling now. What's happening? Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a great big thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe. We're nearly at 300 subscribers insane and i hope you have a great week a great day whatever you're doing and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.